We're not even looking for intimacy. We're just looking for my wife to give me a drink. We're looking for a hug, maybe a peck on the cheek. What's the big deal? She just gave birth. Uh, she wants me to pay attention to her. What's the big deal? The big deal is she still considered Nida. And Nida is Isur Karet. So the Pasha starts with uh, uh, Hashem spoke to Moshe saying, speak to the children of, Is- of Israel, saying when a woman conceives and gives birth to a male, she shall be contaminated, meaning nida, spiritual nida, uh, for a seven day period, uh, as during the days of our separation. Uh, uh, and uh, here we see that the uh, uh, sages talk about how when a woman gives birth, the, the biblical tuma begins off right away for the, if she gave a, a birth to a baby boy, starts off with seven days, then 33 more. But with the girl, it's 14 days. Uh, and uh, the uh, Chachamim say it really was supposed to be 14 for both to start off plus more. But because uh, uh, the Torah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu per se, wants the, uh, the wife to be uh, spiritually pure at a certain level, uh, for the Brit Mila, he uh, in essence shortened it for the the male boy because on the eighth day she has to do a Brit Mila. But again, the Tuma, the impurity as far as Nida, doesn't stop after a week. Doesn't stop after a week. And in fact, uh, the uh, the Alacha is today in the Shulchan Aruch and the Rambam and everywhere else across the board has been accepted. The uh, the combining of both the biblical obligation as well as some rabbinical. Uh, is that uh, once a woman is a uh, stopped the, the, the bleeding and she has the uh, seven clean days and she goes to the mikveh this could take a month and a half this can take two three months uh it all depends on uh, your body it depends on the doctor you went to that i've mentioned in the past but the point being is is that uh the torah tells us that there is a very important law to know in regards to this particular time of your life where you just ha- you know gave birth uh you know you there's a very very big thing that just happened but at the same token there are laws to know there are laws to know during this time and one of the main things that a person needs to check for is who are they getting their information from who are they getting their information from when it comes to the torah are they getting it from somebody that's just uh, looking to be liked looking to uh uh you know uh, uh have them uh you know uh, agree with uh, you know with each other all the time looking for the so-called fake unity that we have in the world or you're someone that is true to the torah itself and is more concerned about your neshama your soul than uh, perhaps you may even realize and what happens is is that sometimes when people go to multiple sources sometimes it's because they don't have patience to get the answers sometimes because they didn't get the answer that they want sometimes it's just convenience somebody's in front of them he acts like a rabbi he even calls himself a rabbi may even have a shul and you ask him a question and the rabbi you know just uh, shoots from the hip and gives you the answer and you say figure if he's a rabbi he gave me this answer uh it should be fine now Baruch Hashem that uh, with tens of thousands of students around the world you get to get a lot of questions a lot of experience a lot of people a lot of strange stories and uh, this is a uh, one of the things that i've seen in uh, multiple times where people ask uh, family purity uh, uh questions uh simply from the wrong people simply from the wrong people people that have no yirat shamayim many times no knowledge either uh and they simply give you the wrong information because the torah speaks about the issues of nida there's an entire tractate in the gemara called masechet nida uh, the, the sages talk about the issues of nida where the rambam in ilchot isure be'a uh, talks about uh, the issues of nida where if a man is is uh with his wife when she's nida if they're intimate it's isur karet but it's not just that uh in fact it's a uh, for somebody says listen we're not uh, you know my wife just gave birth we're not necessarily looking to be intimate but we just want to go back to normal why well, you know the wife wants him to hug her he wants to hug, you know he wants to to hold her hand take the baby from her what's the big deal well the rambam paskin rambam paskin in chapter 21 number 14 that it's forbidden for a man to engage in relations with his wife in the marketplace and streets and gardens this is a uh, uh um uh obvious obvious uh information that everybody uh understands but 
the uh, the things that perhaps not everybody understands is that in uh, the same uh, in, uh, in uh, chapter 12 in Alakha number uh, 18 is uh, not so obvious not so obvious what that a man is forbidden to embrace that very same wife that he's allowed to be with but not you know not in the open and so on he's not allowed to embrace his wife during these seven spotless days you know when she's still nida uh even if she has clothes on and furthermore in Alakha number 19 that uh it's a uh, it's important for a person to know that uh this uh this uh sin is punishable by karet and nida may perform meaning his wife may perform any task uh which a wife would typically perform for a husband except washing his face hands feet pouring him a drink uh spreading out his bed in his presence uh she's allowed to fix his bed if he's not home uh but if he's uh but if he's there then uh, this could be uh, problematic uh she should not eat with him uh from the same plate nor should he touch her flesh now and this goes on uh, you know with uh, uh, uh with more details the rambam brings now the point being is is that you have certain things that are obvious common sense you know that you're not gonna you don't have to do anything uh, uh uh you don't have to be a big genius to know uh that uh you know being even with your own wife in the open is is forbidden but there are certain things that perhaps don't make common sense to the average person where it says okay we're private we're not even looking for intimacy we're just looking for my wife to give me a drink we're looking for a hug maybe a peck on the cheek what's the big deal she just gave birth uh she wants me to pay attention to her what's the big deal the big deal is she still considered nida and nida is isul karet it's a sin that is one of the worst things you can possibly do to yourself during this life and needless to say after this life now when you are going to ask questions of people you have to make sure that not only do they know these things that i just mentioned to to you know like the back of their hand but even more so they have enough fear of the almighty fear of heaven that they're not going to change the truth just in order to appease you because what ends up happening is that sometimes people will tell you something they may not know the information they're not so sure what the answer is and they'll simply you know they don't want to look bad so they'll give you whatever answer makes sense or they don't want you to feel bad because they decided for you that you can't handle the truth so they'll you know change the truth for you and all types of things that happen and just recently i had a multiple uh, uh students that Baruch Hashem, uh, brought children to the world and literally one after another has different issues with the uh the source of information that they have where people are telling them the wrong thing you know in, in one particular obnoxious case uh where uh i love these students but uh, the the people that the yetzara sends them literally are like uh, uh uh just the most bizarre people in the world why i'll tell you dear student of ours couple that was wonderful people smart people clever people and Baruch Hashem, have you got shamayim so they always double check with us simple they uh the husband went to the uh synagogue and was uh simply asking listen uh in regards to uh nida uh, you know my wife just gave birth but you know she uh stopped uh bleeding already and uh we figured uh you know is it okay uh we've already counted a uh you know uh uh you know a certain amount of time and we figured is it okay for her to go to the mikveh this joker that they asked whoever he was decided that uh you know he's gonna create a new answer for them what did he say listen tonight see if uh if everything is a uh, is okay uh you go to the mikveh but don't don't uh c- you know have any relations together meaning she should go to the mikveh he th- you know in essence she's ready to go to the mikveh according to this joker she's ready to go to the mikveh but don't be intimate if everything is okay again tomorrow then you guys can be intimate now this rule that he just said was created probably in some bathroom uh was created in uh, i don't know some type of toilet because it's not in the torah there is no such thing the second a woman goes to the mikveh she's 100 percent permitted to our husband there is no such thing as weight there is no weight in fact it is of special importance for the couple to have intimacy on the night the wife dips in the mikveh 
it's not there is no such thing as dip in a mikveh but just in case don't uh, uh don't go to uh don't be uh, intimate you can just act normal you can hug each other kiss each other but uh wait till tomorrow to see what happens this rabotai uh is is one of the things that really infuriated me because uh not on the students but on this 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 clown that decided to pask in some toilet paper and call it torah because what is he doing really number one panim batorah, which is uh, he just changed the torah he has no share of the world to come his olam haba, if they would have followed him i mean he's punished he's going to be punished anyway but if they actually followed him he would have literally had no chance whatsoever of ever recovering because there is no way of doing tshuva for such a thing uh so because what would he have done he would have actually led this couple to have a sin of karet karet this is like it's not like a uh you know oh i fell accidentally and i i don't know i broke my toe no this is oh i fell and i killed 50 people okay this is the, this is the magnitude of difference here this guy decided to create an alacha say go to the mikveh wait till tomorrow he changed the Torah. Second of all, he led a couple to nearly sin, and he saw karet. And if it wasn't for their yirat shamayim, for their fear of heaven, and them double checking with me, and Baruch Hashem uh, being able to answer them right away, tell them, do not listen to this person. This is whatever he's saying. It makes no sense whatsoever. You'll never find it in any book whatsoever. It's literally, uh, it's 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 toilet paper. I cannot insult it enough. I cannot insult it enough. And it's important. For a person to know that if you're going to ask these types of questions when it comes to family purity, it's of utmost importance. It was so important that David Melech, David Melech, David Melech Israel, the Melech Mashiach, David Melech, he was the one that would check the bdika to see if a woman is pure or not to be able to be with her husband or not. That's how important it was. That's how important it is to, to make sure that a woman is pure or not pure for her wife because this is something you don't play with. This is something you don't play with or other times at least on a half a dozen to probably even a dozen cases that i've had in, in recent recent times people ask me of this new tradition people have what do they have checking the bdika cloth uh on a uh on a uh, phone picture they take a picture of the bdika and they uh text message it uh to to some clown and he's gonna tell her if she, tell him if she's nida or not if it's uh, if it's clean or if it's not clean there is no such permission you have to look at the bdika cloth according to Allah with your own eye the actual thing not a picture of it because there are specific colors that there is no way in the world that you can know for sure that the camera took or it is is, is correct or not you have to know when you're learning these alakhot you have to know certain colors or not i remember i told you guys a story somebody uh tried to uh be clever and uh uh you know test arab gidon ben moshe arab gidon ben moshe is the rabbi of rabbi Ephraim. he's an extraordinary talmid chacham Baruch hashem a uh one of the head rabbis of yerushalayim and also one of the head rabbis that have supported a lot of our work uh, over the years Rav Gidon ben Moshe is probably the uh, uh you know top expert in the world when it comes to the issues of Ilchot Nida and one time a person wanted to test them why people are annoying they like to test rabbis especially when they tell me that are very humble so he brought him a bdika he says listen I wanted to ask the rabbi what does the rabbi uh think is my wife pure or not pure Rav Gidon looks at this he says oh you should take your wife to the dentist what well, there's people there what, what do you mean dentist he says this is from her tooth the guy's face turned whiter than white now of course the Abrahim that has seen this look, tooth what tooth what tooth but then they look at the guy and they realize it's true the guy was playing a joke just to see if the rabbi knows what he's doing so something i guess maybe perhaps she is she bleeding from her gums or something or whatever it is and he put it on a bdika cloth to see if the rabbi can tell the difference between that blood and that blood not only could he tell not only could he tell but when you understand the wisdom that's required for such things you understand you don't play games with this you don't send a a, 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 
uh, a WhatsApp picture and say, hey, Rabbi, uh, it's okay for me to be with my husband. You have to understand, these things have to uh, require patience, require uh, expertise. And if you do not have the patience, you are going to literally create spiritual chametz in your life that can cause a lot of problems. So already in the beginning of this parasha, we realize that there are laws even at that time when people are perhaps more emotional than usual. The Torah does not take a break. There's a lot of really cool stuff on our websites, uh, new features, uh, and uh, a lot more uh, projects that are on the way. The Bezat Hashem will help Am Yisrael get closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to publicize HaKadosh Baruch Hu's name and uh, know that he is the one and only God.